Hello, my name's Katie and I can draw. If you think so too, then subscribe for more. Today, I'm here to talk about how you can improve your art. Have you ever felt like you don't know how to get as good as the artist you see online? Feel like you're simply stuck at the same level? Well, I've got news for you. I know if you ask someone how to get as good at art, they may say, just practice. That is partially true, but it's what you practice. And that's exactly what I'm here to do. Let's get right into it. First of all, find out what you like to draw and what you would like to be good at. Next, focus on your weaknesses. Draw and draw and draw until you get something that you're happy with. And once you've got something you're happy with, practice and practice until you start achieving the same results. Once you've done that, simply repeat with all of your weaknesses and this process will never stop. Now, that is a little too vague. So, before beginners, if you're a beginner, the best thing to do is focus on your weaknesses, as I said. But another thing you can do to improve extra fast is to look at many references and YouTube videos. If you're watching this video now, you're already along the right lines. Don't let a single one of your weaknesses pass the test. Go on, look at some references, study from live, study from pictures, and watch as many YouTube videos, read as many art books as possible. Like, now, for intermediate. Same thing for little videos and references, but also it's a very good idea to study lots of different, well, things that are a necessity for artists. You can't really learn just by practice. Like colour theory, proportions, perspective, hands, stuff like that. Now, remember to like and subscribe and share if you like this video so far. And make sure to comment down below and tell me if you've learned anything. And if so, how you think it's going to help you. I'd really like to know. On to advanced. For people who I personally call advanced, I wouldn't say they're necessarily masters of art, like they're Da Vinci or Michelangelo. They're just people who've got past the stage of hating their art. Like, they might dislike it now and again. I mean, who doesn't? But it's not horrible. Even if they don't see that themselves, it's not horrible anymore. It's not cringeworthy. It's not something to put on the thumbnail of a video versus a masterpiece. Well, not say my piece of masterpiece, but you get what I mean. You've got sort of a clear style, a way of drawing things. And you might want to try new things, experiment. And that is a really good idea. Try new art supplies, mediums, subject matters, Experiment, broaden out the horizons, branch out in medium, subject matter, styles, just everything. Don't limit yourself to just being good at drawing one thing. Like, for example, not saying I'm an advanced artist necessarily, but look at this art down here. You can tell. Paint is not my usual medium, nor are alcohol markers. But that doesn't mean I can't try something new. Like, my usual mediums are graphite pencils, like this one over here. I'm trying out for a video. But it is very good idea to try new mediums, experiment. Not just stick to portraits like I'm used to. Don't limit yourself. That is the thing to take away from this video. Well, one of the many things. <laughs> I just had a look at some of my old art and wow, it was cringeworthy. But it's always a good idea to 
Have a look back at your old art and see how much you improved. You might surprise yourself. It is a motivation to keep going as improvement it's not always obvious, but it is always going to be there. Now, how exactly did I go from this to that? Well, let's take a look at some of my old art to see the differences and how much improvement did I have to go through to get from one piece to the next? So, if you want to improve, you've got to first practice your weaknesses and to just draw what you love. A lot. I'm just going to find some photos I took of my old art and I will put them up on the screen now. Now, first of all, this drawing was done um, about this time, 2020. I remember I was really proud of this at the time. So I did begin it with character design, because that was what I'd love to draw. I always have done. It's what got me into drawing, designing my own characters for stories I made up. You see, I began writing my comic around this time, and so I was just having fun developing my own characters. Around this time, as we all know about the fateful 2020, Covid struck. But it was kind of a good thing because it meant that I had more time to spend practicing my drawing. And you can really see how quickly I improved. I remember really loving this drawing once again. And now on to a comparison drawing five months later of my new character, Dofina. The hand is a lot better. Like, I didn't try to hide it with the sleeve for once. I was actually just in the design process. The hair is very detailed, although not really a realistic style. Now on to the next one. So this drawing I originally made for competition, but I never actually entered it, so roughly about three months later. Now this was revolutionary for me. I think this is supposed to be some kind of perspective. It was a drawing that drawing with waffles did and I tried to copy. And I'll have a link to the video in the description to credit her from the reference she found. So, I was practising my weaknesses, one of the reasons why I improved so quickly. I had trouble drawing nosies, hands, so guess what? I practised them. And you can really tell with this next drawing how much I improved. Once again, it's a lot more on the realistic side, building up into my current art style. Now, once again, practising posies. Posies were another one of my weaknesses. And also, I studied art books and at least a thousand videos on YouTube about art. And I tried new mediums, new subject matters, new art styles, all which helped me get to where I am now. Here are a few of my latest drawings you can compare. This video, as I said at the beginning, is something to just tell young artists that the point you're at now is not going to be the point that you're at in years. Don't give up. In the end, just draw a lot. Practice what you want to get better at until you like it and have fun with it. Just draw and draw and draw as much as necessary for you to improve. Don't ever stop. There will never be a finish line in your art journey. And the sooner you realise it, the better of an artist you will be. If you keep on drawing and drawing and drawing, you'll get better and better without even noticing it. In the end, that same advice everybody says, just draw, is annoyingly true. But I hope that this video gave you some more advice that really is going to help you on your art journey.
and I hope it will encourage you to follow me on mine. Before you go, make sure to subscribe, click that like button for down below for more vids just like this, and press that notification bell for vids you surely won't want to miss. Make sure to tune in in my next video. Guess I'll see you then. Bye.